Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating piece of literature. From the Taisho period in Japan, we're discussing Ominous, a story by the renowned Japanese author Ryunosuke Akutagawa. This piece is a chilling exploration of premonitions and the human perception of the unknown. Stay tuned as we delve into the intricacies of this captivating narrative. In the winter of the 12th year of the Taisho era, I found myself in a taxi, heading down Hongo Street from the University of Tokyo towards Izomi Bridge. This street is always very dark, with very few street lights. There was another car, also driving ahead of my taxi. As I was smoking a rolled cigarette, I didn't pay much attention to it. However, as I got closer and looked at it, the headlight of my taxi was faintly illuminating. The car, it turned out to be a hearse decorated with golden Chinese grass. In the summer of the 13th year of the Taisho era, I was walking with Saisei Maru on a small path in Keruazawa. The mountain sand was damp, and the evening was very quiet. As I was talking with Saisei, I suddenly looked up above our heads. Above us, the clear sky was blackened by the branches of an acacia tree. Moreover, between the branches, there were two human legs hanging down. I said, ah, oh, and started running. Saisei also ran after me, asking, what happened? What happened? I felt a little embarrassed. So I said something to suppress my fear. In the summer of the 14th year of the Taisho era, I was dining in a restaurant in Tsukiji with Kan Kikuchi, Masao Kume, Soichi Uemura, and the president of Taiodo. I was sitting in front of a pillar, with Masao Kume on my right, and Kan Kikuchi on my left. At some point, I looked at the beer bottle on the tray. And in that beer bottle, there was a face reflected. It looked exactly like mine. However, the beer bottle was not simply reflecting my face. As proof, the real me had my eyes open, but the phantom me had the eyes closed and was slightly looking up. I looked at the geisha next to me and said, there's a strange face reflected. At first, the geisha didn't take it seriously, but as soon as she sat in my seat, she said, oh, I can really see it. Kikuchi and Kume also took turns sitting in my seat and said, yeah, I can see it. According to Kume's discovery, it was the reflection of a cup washer or something placed behind the beer bottle. But I couldn't help feeling ominous. On the 10th day of the new year in the 15th year of the Taisho era, once again, I was in a taxi, heading down Hongo Street from the University of Tokyo towards Izomi Bridge. Then, that hearse with the golden Chinese grass appeared faintly in front of my taxi once again. Until that time, I hadn't thought that the several phenomena I mentioned earlier were connected. However, when I saw this car, especially when I saw the coffin inside, I clearly felt that something was warning me from the depths of the unknown. That wraps up our discussion on Ominous by Ryunosuke Akutagawa. This story serves as a reminder of how literature can beautifully capture and explore the human psyche's complexities. We hope you found this discussion enlightening and intriguing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more literature discussions. Until next time, keep reading and exploring the depths of the human experience through literature. Goodbye.